get ready with me while getting to know me. So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hi Batum Dumelang and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Saturday the, the 25th of March 2023 and I am getting ready to go to a law event. No, no, it's not an event. I think it is an event. I'm going to the Law Society's AGM uh, because I am going to be facilitating the, the afternoon part of the event with Jack. I don't really know what it is to facilitate but Jack told me not to worry because he will take me through everything so yes so I'm basically going to the event and I want you guys to get ready with me why do I want you guys to get ready with me uh, because um, because I, I received a few requests people saying that I should do a get to know me tag or like a q a you see lily now why do people want to ask me questions and i'm not ready to do that i am not comfortable to do a get to know me tag yet or do a q a yet because um people lack boundaries people ask really personal questions and i i don't think i'm ready to share that side of me yet on youtube so i decided to uh do to tell you guys um uh 10 facts about me while i get ready for this event for this law event because anyway this channel is about law and lifestyle i don't really know how to do my makeup why am i saying i don't really know how to, i don't know how to do my makeup at all so this is going to be a different kind of a get to know me uh, a, a get ready with me video so instead of uh, beating my face like normal girls do i'm going to be doing my skincare uh, my hair and getting dressed because i don't know how to do my uh face like normal girls another thing is uh actually getting i'm actually running late so let's just do this quickly ne? so we are starting with this we are starting with skin republic collagen hydrogel and the eye patch i've been wanting to try this because i have eye bags you can see and they are not giving yeah so let's try this let me fix my eyes okay uh fact number one <laughs> fact number one is that i am 24 years old yes you know for a long time i was not comfortable with sharing my age but this year i just decided to Ooh, this feels cold and nice okay uh yes number one i am 24 years old okay i'm so sorry about that because i am getting late yeah like i am 24 years old born on the 13th of feb 1999 and i am an aquarius not really a star sign person or I don't really believe in those star sign that like people are people act a certain way or do certain things because they are a certain star sign. No. Um fact number two. I am the second of five children. So we are five at home and I'm the second one. I know that a lot of people think i don't know why a lot of people think i'm the last born or 
I'm the only child. I don't know if I give cheese girl vibes or if I just give <laughs> or if I give spoiled bread or if I give last born tendencies. I just I don't actually. I am the second of five girls. We have five girls at home and I'm the second one. I'm sure you guys have seen this trend on TikTok. This is actually the trend that uh inspired this video you know that the, the trend where people play this adele song in the background and then um then they talk about themselves so i decided that i'm gonna do that on youtube because it's better than having people ask you questions that you're not comfortable with and then you're forced to answer them because like no so anyway fact number three this is Another step, another skincare step. My least favorite skincare product has to be water. Fact number three is, um, I am an attorney by profession, lol, but I am not in private practice anymore i'm not in practice i'm not a practicing attorney although i was admitted as a, a practicing attorney i am currently not a practicing attorney i am in corporate legal and compliance and i felt the need to address this because um when people were making suggestions on like the content that i'm supposed to make on youtube what is it that i'm supposed to post sorry a lot of people were requesting for vlog like a day or a week in the life of an admitted attorney and i'm like guys i can't do that like i mean i can but i i'm not in private practice anymore and i don't do the exciting stuff anymore i don't get to go to court or like go to serve documents go to the sheriff's office police stations hospitals no i don't do that anymore i actually just go to the office on days where i work at the office and sit on my desk and work the whole day and i'm sure you guys don't want to see that so yes a lot of people don't want to see that they don't want to a lot of people didn't know that actually so while i am waiting for this eye patch to do what it's supposed to do i'm going to apply lotion on my body because i'm getting late um and i have to wait for this thing to sit in for some time before i can take it off and continue with the rest of my face Garvidia <laughs> makeup the rest of my face lord okay uh so i just i finished just finished I just finished applying lotion on my body and I just remembered that I need to apply nail polish on my toes because I'm gonna be wearing uh, open open toe heels which I think is a bad idea because the weather is actually really bad like it's it's bad like it's raining I'm talking like raining bad but anyway, drip is forever. Fact number four, uh, I'm sure you guys know this one. If you follow me on Instagram, you actually know this. I love coffee. I don't want to say I'm a coffee addict, but I, but I can't really function without coffee. I can't really function without caffeine. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> I love coffee so much. So... And I also like uh, trying out new coffee spots. So if you guys like coffee as well, or you guys like, yeah, if you guys like coffee, uh, please recommend some of your, some of your favorite coffee spots around your work. Yeah, around Johannesburg. So. This is the nail polish I'm gonna be using for my for my for my toes. 
actually got this from someone i didn't buy this i mean didn't really get it from someone because they don't know that i took it <laughs> so let me just quickly finish up uh, okay fact number five uh i am roman catholic born and raised in the roman catholic church i actually yeah used to be an altar server like an active church goer but that stopped when i got to varsity well i think that stopped in my second or third year i mean i still go to church but uh not as often as i would like to and i decided that this year i actually want to change that because i want to join the the working working the daughters of saint anne solid solidarity is it solidar i don't know but like the group the, that group i want to say society because at up we call everything a society but yeah it's a church thing basically i really like i really like whatever it is that they have going on there so yes i am a roman catholic church i i mean i go to um, i am a roman catholic born and raised her got baptized there received my first holy communion and the sacrament of confirmation in 2017 got vested as an altar server in 2015 and 2022 is the year i am going to join the the daughters of saint n class i probably shouldn't take them off now because 30 minutes hasn't passed but i have to go i'm getting really i'm getting late i'm running late so let's do this fact number um, number mango I don't know, I think six or seven. I don't know. Um, is that I am a I am size one actually. My shoe size is like so small. So I am size one is in like kid section type of size one or or size 13 yeah or size 13 if on a good on a good day i am size two but yeah primarily i am size one between me and my dream wardrobe stands my inability to find shoes it's so hard to find uh size three heels that us that um that are like a small cut like so small cut that they can accommodate size one and it's also it's it's not nice it's it's not nice it's not like i could be i could have like a nice outfit but ruin it with shoes because like those are the only shoes that that can fit me those are the only heels that can fit me and it's such a struggle because i'm a professional i have to have like nice cord heels or nice formal shoes that i can wear to work but I really struggle because I'm like size one, like, and my size one equal kid section. So when people say, "Oh my God!" like just try to find size two heels, yeah, like I can't find size two heels. But like, they they talking about baby wedges because those are the heels that I'm gonna find in the kid section. I'm using my cellar water, ponds my cellar water as my toner uh, because. Um, Lord. Actually, yeah, because um, the toner that I use, if I did it, but I also like this. I mean, I have my cellar water not because I apply makeup, but because I use it as a toner in most instances. And in most instances, I actually do not use it with a cotton wool. No, I actually use it with my, <laughs> with my, I just put it in my hands and just apply it on my face because i have such a dodgy skincare routine and i do that because number one i'm lazy but like when people ask me why do you not like do it when people ask me why do you not use a cotton you know, cotton pad to 
to to apply a toner on your face i normally say no it's because i feel like the cotton pad leaves like white residue on my on my my face which is a lie but this is what i normally do i also feel like it, it just doesn't get the job done so this is what i just normally do i try I mean, uh, try to use the cotton pad though when i have like when i have lashes on because you know when you have lashes on you have to be careful all around the uh, but this is what this is what i normally do uh point number i mean fact number seven or eight i don't know more number man, no. I love white wine. I love white wine. Love it so much. Shannon Blank, if we're being specific. Oh shit. I'm using uh this this tissue oil that a lot of people use for their bodies. Um apparently it works well. Apparently it moisturizes people really well on their bodies. But I use it for my face because I'm not willing to spend a lot of money on vitamin C serum or any moisturizer. So I use it to moisturize my face because sunscreen does not moisturize enough. Um, it, it gets the job done, if we're being honest. And I prefer it on my face more than on my body because it still leaves my skin dry. Regardless of how generous I am with it. So yes, uh, my favorite wine is currently Chenin Blanc. So please recommend your favorite white wines in the comment section. I hope my dad doesn't see this part from the bottom of my heart. Yes, please, please, please comment with your favorite white wine so I can try it out. Love it. I'll tag you when I try it out. <laughs> another reason, another reason why I use uh, the Pond's Micellar Water as my tuna is literally because it's cheap that's why so this is the last part of my... i'm so sorry about that that was my alarm because i'm running late now so this is the the popular sunscreen the popular brand so i don't i'm not really picky when it comes to I'm not really picky when it comes to sunscreens. Like I don't use a specific brand or anything. I like every sun because that's the one I'm used to. And the last time I went to buy sunscreen, I bought this one because it was the cheapest in the shop. Yeah, so don't be like me. So I am wearing this dress from Shein. The theme is smart casual, but um, I was supposed to wear like a nice black mom jeans with like a nice top and a blazer and heels, but uh, I actually found out last night, very late in the evening, that the jeans that I wanted to wear are actually so big, like big, like so big. So I had to do damage control and I decided to wear this dress. I hope it doesn't come across as, I mean, the theme is smart casual. This is definitely not smart casual. It's giving a little bit of formal, but with color. So so it, I hope I don't look too overdressed, but I also like uh, too overdressed or too formal, but I, I'm also gonna be around a lot of professionals. So it shouldn't be, like it should be decent. Like I, I think it's, it's decent because I'm gonna be around a lot of professional people and as much as it's a saturday and they said smart casual i still want to 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 come across as serious okay let's get dressed okay fact number Shoot. fact number number nine eight or nine <laughs> I don't know because I lost count. Fact number eight or nine is that I love swimming. This one is probably obvious as well. I love swimming, love water, love it so much. I don't mind swimming in the rain. I actually come from like family. Yavatora do swim. Like it is not a family trip if it does not include swimming. We would swim in the rain as long as there's no thunder. We would swim everywhere anywhere 
um when i talk about how i love swimming i'm not talking about like chilling by the pool or like just floating and 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 i'm talking about like the playing like this the, the, the playing kind of swimming i'm talking slides i'm talking getting inside the water and holding your breath for a long time i'm talking racing with my little sisters jumping inside the water that is what i love like that's what i prefer um and i Sometimes I, I, I always, I, I talk about how go Gold Reef City, they sh we should have like a similar water park here, yeah, Gold Reef City with like water slides that are like that. So if you know of any places in Johannesburg, that will, we're almost in winter now, so, but I would also like to try, I'd like to try play, uh, water parks with a lot of slides. So I can, you know, sometimes you're not depressed. People say sometimes you're not depressed, you need to go to Gold Reef City it's green i know that um i feel good when i'm swimming especially maybe i also think maybe uh, i like it i love it so much because uh, that's how rebondang as a family like everyone in my house can swim we all love to swim we all love water it's literally the only time we're not fighting if you see us not fighting just know that we were swimming or we are going to swim so yeah i love it so much um busy to do just straight now i mean the hot comb is still heating up so so i'm waiting for that to just to or it's hard temperature yana before i can start combing it or straightening my hair it's not bad so keep bonding as you guys can see uh it's a sue in i used my uh, my brazilian bundles from a very old wig of mine they're very old weave very old like so old i remember the last time i used these bundles Pondo was in 2021 and they're not that they're not like they're not they're not like in the best condition but i think they make this hairstyle work so while my hot comb is catching some heat you know as it's busy warming up i'm gonna try to do my edges i mean i don't have to do edges i think the hair looks fine but i just want it to look neat i just want it to look um yeah like yeah i want it to to be like flat you know i hope it doesn't leave the white residue i'm just gonna leave it and then cut ka swab So these are the shoes that I'm going to be wearing. They are black and open, open toes. Uh, they're not that big. I mean, of course they're big because they're size three, but no, they're not that big. They don't show that they're, they, yeah, you wouldn't have. If you don't know them, you wouldn't have. And I'm going to be wearing uh, this jacket, this blazer. I'm just going to like hang it on my shoulders. Uh, I, I don't know which one, where this is from. Kia Karau. Karau is my older sister. So that's why I don't know where the blazer is from. This is not mine. I got this from Karabo, my older sister. I, oh, I didn't get it from her. Mashadi got it. Mashadi is my little. One thing about what? One thing about my sister, Sana. We will steal from each other. So this is Karabo's blazer. Karabo is my older sister. If it is a moment, it is Mashadi. Mashadi, I live a Kamuraka. At a Maya school, I told her like a So now you're not getting so yes i don't know where it's from because i don't know what this label is but it's very nice it's very warm it actually goes really well with my outfits most of my work outfits so thank god so yeah i guess this is it i don't know if i should like put them on and show you guys my full outfit but i'm really low and i need to um, to charge my phone i'm also going to be carrying a black handbag so i just think the whole pink and black 
thing works. Okay, bonus fact about me. I just <laughs> I just remembered this as I was busy picking my bag. I cannot function without Vaseline. But yo, I can't I cannot function without Vaseline. I'm not a lip gloss girl. I like Vaseline. I just feel like lip gloss is too sticky and it's too shiny and it looks somehow on me. So I can't leave without this. And Hazel knows this. Or well, she knows that she knows I can't leave it anyway. Actually, the people around me always know. I remember even at my previous workplace, if like we are out, maybe like for team building, hiking, what what when people need something to apply on their lips, they know, even in the bushes. Manuko might not have a bottle of water, but he'll have a Vaseline. And then last of last week, I was at Farmer's Market and um, someone actually posted a picture of like, it was a group of people. We were sitting as a group of people and someone posted a picture and I, I was not in the picture. I, I was in the picture, but like, like within the people, I wasn't sitting with everyone at that time. I was not in the picture, uh, but my Vaseline was there. And Karabo sent me a screenshot. She's like, Yo, and I got a yo, and I'm Manuk. Yay, get out, Eva, when get Eva Luru Moka, and it gets a little man, and a Kubonica Vaslin. Kubonica Vaslin, you'll get a picture, Manuk. So, yes, I can't leave without this. Can't leave without it. Um, so before I tapped into my feminine or my gaily girl era, I used to use Vaslin as my lip balm or my lip gloss and as my hand lotion and as my body cream so now i have like a hand lotion look in the one i'm ready for the hand lotion me can i look fast me no like i even have like i never mind but yes i can't live without it another thing that i can't live without is my glasses i cannot see without my glasses I don't know why a lot of people actually assume that I wear my glasses for drip, but I literally cannot cope without my glasses. I actually went to Spears yesterday to buy something to eat as I was busy doing my hair. And because I had left the salon in a hurry, I left my glasses. So I couldn't see like the food on the screen. I couldn't see. So I had to... And like the queue was long, I didn't want to be fussy and ask for the smaller menus so I can see. So I had to go to McDonald's because at least at McDonald's that self-help thing you can just you can just choose what you want because that thing is it's not that far. That screen is, is big and it's literally close to you. So I think this is where I'm going to end my video. I hope that you enjoyed getting to know me and i hope i didn't overshare and i hope you guys uh don't feel like i am i am like i'm like i don't want to open up or no guys like we still have a long way to go this is i think this is going to be my fourth or my fifth video on youtube so we still have a long way to go there will be a lot of things that you will know about me there will be a lot of places that i take you guys with me there will be a lot of people in my life that you also um get to know through this channel so if you've watched until the end please comment law society i not law society everything just can be low so i'm going to a law society event so mm -mm. please comment pink oh please comment feminine per <laughs> and i will see you guys in my next take two that was my alarm again because this time this is a sign that i must leave the house please comment pink and i will see you guys in my next video oh yeah and then the pictures of my outfit ne? i think i'm gonna post those on my instagram if i manage to take them because i can't really show full outfit i'm not even wearing my shoes yet but it's fine i'll see you guys in my next video love you